Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for giving this opportunity today to talk about COVID-19 vaccine, and especially all this information is uh, for the women. A very brief introduction of mine. My name is Faiza Said. I'm an international medical graduate, and uh, I'm basically from Pakistan. I had specialization in gynecology and obstetrics, and I worked in United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, and Pakistan before coming to Canada. I'm also a member of uh, Alberta International Medical Graduate Association here and a member of its health and wellness team. And today I'm gonna uh, present uh, one session related to COVID-19 vaccine information for women in collaboration with TIES, right? So before going ahead and talking about some uh, special situations which are only particular and related to women, I just want to give you a very brief introduction related to various various variant strains, which are nowadays a very hot topic here. As we know that uh, whenever the viruses are infecting, with the passage of time, they're trying to change their structure so that whatever interventions are being carried out in order to affect them or in order to damage them, they can uh, try to save themselves. And by this, we mean that they are changing their structure. So currently in Canada, we are having various strains, which are alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. And they are coming from various countries like UK, South Africa, Brazil, as well as India. But the good thing is that uh, various vaccine manufacturers are conducting studies and uh, they are able to determine that most of our vaccines which are being introduced and uh, which are being approved to be used in Canada, they are affecting these variants as well. And they are very effective. Uh, related to Pfizer studies, it has been indicated that these COVID-19 vaccines appear to work against these variants, which were first discovered in UK as well as South Africa. Regarding Moderna, although the studies which has been conducted in the laboratories, they are showing very reassuring effects and they are able to counter these variants, but still the basic studies results are awaited. As far as AstraZeneca and COVID shield vaccines are concerned, these vaccines are very much effective against the strains which were first discovered in UK, although they are a little bit less affecting, uh, effective against the variants which were discovered in South Africa. All right, so uh, I just want to tell you about the safety of all the vaccines. So basically we can say that any of the vaccines which are being introduced and which are being allowed to be used in Canada, whether these are mRNA vaccines, which are Pfizer or Moderna, or these are virus vector vaccines like AstraZeneca or Johnson & Johnson, their efficacy is much more higher, like they can be effective up to 80 to 90%. But the most significant value of these vaccination is that they will prevent death and hospitalization almost 100% in all the cases. So that is really reassuring. And I think that's the basic concept uh, related to these vaccines that everybody should be cured. And we should always give a very thorough thought that we should all go and take these uh, vaccinations. Now coming to I, uh, my main topic that is related to females. So one question is very commonly being asked that what are the risks of being infected with COVID-19 vaccine when you are pregnant? Yes, a higher, there is a higher risk of being admitted to hospital and developing respiratory, which is known as lung complications. And there is a possibility that if the pregnant woman is being infected with this infection, she might need to end up in intensive care unit admissions. There is also more likely chances that you have premature birth, meaning thereby that their, your baby is being delivered earlier than the expected date of delivery. And because this baby is not very much mature and various organs and their lungs are not capable to breathe uh, in an independent environment, so there is a chances that might be the baby will go into ICU, which is specific for the babies, and these are known as neonatal intensive care units. Apart from that, if along with pregnancy, you are also suffering from some health conditions, like if you are having high blood pressure, you are having high blood sugars, or you are obese, in that cases, your chances of having serious illness to, due to COVID-19 infection will be much more higher than the women who are not pregnant. 
is covid-19 vaccine is safe in pregnancy so let me just tell you that whatever information i am giving to you those all are evidence based and i have taken all these evidences from various authentic websites including alberta health services who society of obstetric and gynecology canada cdc that is a center for disease control and prevention and various provincial canadian guidelines so uh, it is whether it is safe in pregnancy or no because number of trials and studies are being conducted because currently number of pregnant women have already already received their vaccine and that's why it is now it is suggested that if you are pregnant you can receive covid-19 vaccine getting a covid-19 vaccine during pregnancy can protect you from severe illness from covid-19 as just in the previous slide i mentioned that your chances of getting serious illness due to covid-19 infection would be much more higher if you are pregnant so pregnant individuals should be offered vaccination and the good news is that at any time during your pregnancy whether you are in your first trimester second trimester or third trimester if you don't have any contraindication you are eligible to take your vaccination and this is the statement by society of obstetrician and gynecologist in canada there is also currently no known specific risk such as there is no chances of increased risk of miscarriages or possible birth defects after getting covid-19 vaccine while you are pregnant and it is also best to get mrna covid-19 vaccine if you are planning to become pregnant or if you are pregnant because up till now the most safest vaccine which is being found for the pregnant individuals that is mrna vaccine the research to date shows that it is the safest type of vaccine none of the authorized covid-19 vaccines which are being used in canada they contain live virus so it is very important to understand that currently all the vaccines including mrna vaccine they don't contain live virus that's why there is no chances that after getting this vaccine you will end up in covid-19 infection emergency evidence suggests that passive antibodies transfer to the fetus in utero which means that if you are pregnant and you are getting vaccines and your body is producing helpful antibodies so these antibodies are not only going to protect you from this infection but through your placenta they are also being transferred to your babies and they can protect them as well this is uh, some international registry and surveillance data from canada and uh, they basically collected data from most of the women who were pregnant and they were giving breastfeed to their babies and they received their vaccination during pregnancy and it has been shown that no adverse pregnancy outcome related to any covid-19 vaccination either with pfizer or moderna was encountered during their study so that is really reassuring and that gives us uh, this hope that everybody who is eligible and uh, they want to take their vaccine they are they are they should really think about it to take your vaccination shots now i will talk about uh, the about all those moms who are breastfeeding should they get the covid-19 vaccine based upon how this vaccine work in the body covid-19 vaccines are thought not to be at risk of lactating people or their breastfeeding babies therefore all the lactating moms can receive covid-19 vaccine recent reports have shown that breastfeeding people who have received covid-19 vaccine especially the mrna vaccines have antibodies in their breast milk which could also help to protect their babies protective antibodies from covid-19 immunization are present in higher concentration in breast milk as compared to antibodies which are arising from natural infection So here I just want to uh, emphasize that in case if you have developed covid-19 infection while you are pregnant or you are giving breast feed to the baby so once you feel better and you are recovered from your infection your body is not having enough antibodies so it's very important that after getting this infection as soon as you feel better and there is no sign and symptoms of covid-19 infection you should go and you should take your vaccine can the uh, one question is very commonly asked related uh, to females that whether it is going to affect their periods 
So I just want to tell you that according to Society of Obstetrician and Gynecologists in Canada, it has been given this statement that there is no association between COVID-19 vaccine and menstrual changes. If I will briefly give you that how the menstrual period works, basically it controls start from our brain. There are certain organs which are known as hypothalamus and pituitary. They are going to control and they are going to start this cycle. So under any stressful conditions, the female can experience some changes, some irregularity in their menses. And same happened in this pandemic. Everybody was under stress. There are some mental disturbances and people are people's mental health were really affected. So there is a possible uh, relation with the stress as well as some irregularities in their periods. But as far as COVID-19 vaccine is concerned, there is no known association. All right, so now I want to talk a little bit about those uh, women or those couples who want to have pregnancy in future. So would these parents can receive COVID-19 vaccine? So answer is yes, because there is currently no evidence that these type of vaccine, including COVID-19 vaccine, they cause any sort of female or male fertility problems, meaning there is no issue in getting pregnant. If you are trying to become pregnant, like you are planning to conceive in future, you do not need to avoid pregnancy after receiving a COVID-19 vaccine. And it has been proved that after getting vaccine, whenever you want to plan your pregnancy, you can plan. There is no need to delay or postpone. If contemplating pregnancy, ideally the individuals should complete a full course of vaccine, meaning thereby two doses of vaccine, prior to becoming pregnant to gain most benefit from this vaccination throughout their pregnancy. Uh, one topic which is uh, not particularly related to female, but that has been most often asked that whether the COVID-19 vaccines are halal. So WHO has released uh, this statement that COVID-19 vaccine do not contain any animal products of any kind. That's why the Medical Fix Symposium has ruled that vaccines are permissible according to the Sharia law. Uh, now I want to give you a very brief, uh, in, brief uh, uh, all these questions which I have touched. I just want to translate into different languages. Uh, I would share some of the information in Urdu and Punjabi. And uh, if you have any more questions, I would be more than happy to answer. Uh, so first of all, I would tell you a little bit about uh, COVID-19 vaccine and female-related uh, issues in Urdu. First of all, I would like to talk to you about this in pregnancy. There are many questions about this in pregnancy. Is the vaccine safe for COVID-19 vaccine in pregnancy? So yes, now there are a lot of research and studies that have been proven that this vaccine is safe in pregnancy. In pregnancy especially uh, mrna vaccine jisme ki aapki pfizer uh, aur moderna shamil hain ye pregnancy mein safe hain aur canada mein is waqt sari hamla khawatin jo ke vaccine lene ke liye eligible hain aur wo vaccine lena chahti hain unhe mrna vaccine di ja rahi hai jisme ke pfizer shamil hai ye baat bhi sabit hoti hai ki ye vaccine lene ke baad aapke jism mein jo antibodies banti hain wo na sirf aapko is infection se bachati hain बल्कि वो आपके प्लेसेंटा के थ्रू आपके होने वाले बच्चे में भी ट्रांसफर हो जाती हैं और इस तरह ये उन बच्चों को भी हेल्पफुल जो कि बहुत अच्छी एंटीबॉडीज हैं जो कि आपको इस इंफेक्शन से बचाने में मदद देती हैं ये आपके बच्चों को भी हिफाजत मुहैया करती हैं इसके अलावा ये भी देखा गया है कि जो औरतें बच्चों को दूध पिला रही हैं वो ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग के दौरान थोड़ा सा ये सोचती हैं कि उन्हें वैक्सीन लेनी चाहिए या नहीं और वैक्सीन लेने के बाद क्या उन्हें बच्चों को दूध पिलाना जारी रखना चाहिए या नहीं तो ये बात भी अब बहुत सारी स्टडीज के साथ साबित हो रही है और कनाडा में भी बहुत ज्यादा इसके ऊपर काम किया जा रहा है और रजिस्ट्री बनाई जा रही है जिसमें देखा जा रहा है कि वो सारी खातन जो कि दूध पिला रही हैं और उन्होंने ये वैक्सीन ली है उनमें किसी किस्म के भी कोई साइड इफेक्ट नहीं पाए गए यानी कि उनके बच्चों में इससे किसी भी किस्म के कोई नुकसान नहीं देखे गए बल्कि माओ के दूध में एंटीबॉडीज जो कि इस वैक्सीन के बाद बनती हैं वो बच्चों में ट्रांसफर हो रही हैं और बच्चों में भी इससे हिफाजत मिलती है इसी तरह मैं आपको बताऊंगी कि इस वैक्सीन का आपके पीरियड्स के साथ कोई ताल्लुक नहीं है कुछ खातन जो ये कहती हैं कि उनके पीरियड्स खराब हो जाते हैं ये वैक्सीन लेने के बाद 
तो एक्चुअली इसमें ऐसी कोई चीज नहीं है जो कि आपकी आपकी मेंसिस के ऊपर असरअंदाज हो सके लेकिन जो पेंडेमिक इस वक्त सारी दुनिया में चल रहा है वो एक बहुत ज्यादा हर एक के लिए जहनी दबाव और जहनी परेशानी का सबब है और इसका ताल्लुक आपके पीरियड्स के साथ भी है जब भी आप किसी स्ट्रेसफुल सिचुएशन में होते हैं तो आपके पीरियड्स के खराब होने के इम्कान बढ़ जाते हैं शायद यही वो वजह है कि जिसकी वजह से इस वक्त कुछ खातन ये ताल्लुक पैदा करना के बारे में सोचती हैं कि शायद ये वैक्सीन लेने के बाद उनके मेंसेस खराब हो गए हैं लेकिन सारे तहकीकत से ये बात साबित हुई है कि इस तरह से नहीं है आप वैक्सीन लेने के बाद आपके पीरियड्स में कोई भी चेंजेस या तगैरात नहीं आते हैं आखिर में मैं कहूंगी कि वो सारी कपल्स वो सारी खातन जो कि सोच रही हैं कि अब वो प्रेगनेंसी की तरफ जाए या वो प्रेगनेंट होना चाहती हैं उनके लिए भी इस वैक्सीन को लेने में कोई नुकसान नहीं है ये वैक्सीन आपकी बच्चे पैदा करने की सलाहियत को बिल्कुल भी मुतासर नहीं करती है और आपको इस वैक्सीन लेने के बाद अपनी प्रेगनेंसी स्टार्ट करने की ख्वाहिश को डिले करने की जरूरत नहीं है बल्कि ये बहुत फायदा मंद है कि अगर आप ये वैक्सीन अपनी प्रेगनेंसी स्टार्ट होने से पहले ले लें ताकि आपको पूरी प्रेगनेंसी में हिफाजत मुहैया रहे नाउ आई वुड डिस्कस लिटल विथ दिस इंफॉर्मेशन इन पंजाबी सो uh, so, uh, पहले ये सवाल सवाल किया जाता है कि जड़ी खातन है यानी तो वो हमल न है यानी क्या उन्होंने ये वैक्सीन हिफाजत है महफूज है ये ए कोई साइड इफेक्ट्स तो नहीं है तो मैं तुम सारे दसना चाहती हाँ कि बहुत ज़्यादा तहकीक हो रही है तो बहुत ज़्यादा स्टडीज हो रही ने इस वक्त गौरमेंट ऑफ कैनेडा तो नाले डबल्यू एच ओ इस तो इलावा अलबर्टा की हैल्थ सर्विस डिफरेंट प्रोविंस की हैल्थ सर्विस सब ने यह ऐलान किया है कि इस वे जिनी भी खातन वैक्सीन दी गई है उन्होंने अगर वह हामला ने तो उन्होंने बच्चे किसी किस्म का नुकसान नहीं देखा गया ना ही तो मिसकैरेज या एबोर्शन होने के चांसिस ज्यादा हुए हैं ना ही उन्होंने बच्चों किसी किस्म का डिफेक्ट पाया गया है सो एक तुम हामिला हो तुम हमल न हो तो ये वैक्सीन लेना चाहते हो तो तुम बेसिकली एम आर एन ए वैक्सीन लो जिंद ना फाइजर है आए जो तुम अपनी अपॉइंटमेंट पर जाओ तो तुम उन्होंने दस सकते हो कि तुम हामिल हो ताकि वह तुम सेफेस्ट वैक्सीन दे इस तु इलावा वो खातन जी बच्चों दूध पिला रही ने उन्होंने लिए भी यह वैक्सीन बिल्कुल महफूज है ये इस वक्त हजार लख तादाद खातन जी बच्चों दूध पिला रही ने एंड ज और जी हामला ने उन्होंने यह वैक्सीन दी जा चुकी है तो नाले उन्होंने देखा जा रहा है कि की इफेक्ट्स आ रहे हैं उन्होंने बच्चों में एंड सब तो अच्छी गल ये है कि हाले तक ऐसे कोई नुकसान इन बच्चों में नहीं पाए गए जिन्हों की मावं दुध पिलाव के दौरान यह वैक्सीन लगी है बल्कि यह देखा गया है कि अगर हमल या दूध पिलाव के वैक्सीन लो तो जी एंटीबॉडीज ताड़े जिसम बनती ने वो प्लेसेंटा या दुध के जरिए बच्चे भी मुंतकिल हो जाए हैं तो उन्होंने लिए बड़ी ही फायदेमंद होंगे ने इसी तरह वो सारे लोग जोड़े हूँ सोच रहे हैं कि उन्होंने अपनी फैमिली शुरू करनी चाहिए है या वो प्रैगनेंट खातन प्रैगनेंट होना चाहती ने तो उन्होंने लिए भी यह वैक्सीन बिल्कुल महफूज है रिसर्च यह साबित कर चुकी है कि वैक्सीन ताड़े बच्चे पैदा होने की सलाहियत में बिल्कुल भी मुतासर नहीं करती है वैक्सीन लेने तो बाद किसी भी वेले हमल के बारे में सोच सकते हो तू हमल डिले करने की कोई भी जरूरत नहीं है बल्कि बड़ा ही जरूरी है कि अगर तुम अपनी दोनों डोजेज हमल शुरू होने तो पहले ले लो तो यह इनफेक्शन ताड़ी तू थ्रू आउट ताड़ी प्रेगनेंसी में इनफेक्शन तो ताड़ी हिफाजत करती रहेगी आखिर में छोटी जी गल के कुछ खातन कहदिया ने कि वैक्सीन लेने तो बाद उन्होंने पीरियड्स जोड़े ने थोड़े से इरेगुलर या खराब हो गए हैं लेकिन यह भी बात तहकीक को साबित हो चुकी है कि यह वैक्सीन का कोई किसी भी किस्म का ताल्लुक नहीं है कि यह ते पीरियड्स को खराब करे बिकॉज इस वेले कोविड पेंडेमिक सारी दुनिया में फैलिया हुआ है और बहुत ज्यादा जो जहनी दबाव का शिकार हुई ने खातन इस तो करके तो यह पॉसीबल रिलेशनशिप या पॉसीबल इफेक्ट यह है जो करके ताे पीरियड्स हो सकता है कि थोड़े जे खराब हो लेकिन यह कन्फर्म है कि इस वैक्सीन करके ताे पै पीरियड्स को किसी किस्म का कोई मसला नहीं होएगा um so this is just a helpline uh, as i told you in the start that i am a member of emga and uh, there are various helpline uh, helpline is available and there are multiple international medical graduates who are always happy to answer you in various languages if you have any questions related to covid-19 infection or its vaccination
thank you so much for listening me and i hope it would be a uh, useful information for you if you have any sort of questions i would be more than happy to answer uh thank you very much thank you dr faiza so uh, currently in canada up till now uh, till to date what has been approved that the vaccinations are approved for the children or the teenagers starting from age 12 and above so anybody who is born in 2009 or earlier they are eligible to take mrna pfizer vaccine till to date but currently i want to tell you that lot of research and the studies are being conducted especially in america and israel and even they have enro enrolled some children which are just of 6 months of age um, as you know that once we started the vaccination campaign in canada even we haven't approved uh, vaccinations for 12 years and above we started from 18 plus but with the passage of time as we are getting more and more information we have evidence regarding the safety of these vaccination in the children so now the age limit has reduced to age 12 meaning thereby that everybody who is born in 2009 and earlier they are eligible to take their pfizer or mrna vaccine between 12 to 18 and 18 plus all the vaccines uh, they can take according to their choice uh currently at the moment we are not expecting to give uh, any of the vaccine at any children age lesser than 12 but we are hoping that uh, with the passage of time when we have more evidence and we feel that uh, that is very much safe and the government will announce because every time uh, the government especially even the alberta health services they have like continuously they are updating their uh, website and they are giving us updates so uh, as soon as some new information or guidance would be or recommendation will come from the government uh, definitely we will distribute to everyone but at the moment uh, all the eligible children are must be of age 12 and above not lesser than that uh ye bhi bahut zyada sawal pucha ja raha hai ki kya ye vaccine bachon ke liye safe hai especially wo bacche jo ke 12 saal se kam hain तो इसमें मैं आपको ये बता दूं कि अभी क्योंकि जब कनाडा में वैक्सीन देना शुरू किया गया था तो उस वक्त 12 साल के बच्चों को वैक्सीन नहीं दी जा रही थी और ये बच्चे भी क्योंकि बहुत ज्यादा कोविड 19 के इन्फेक्शन का शिकार हो रहे थे तो ये फैसला किया गया कि इन बच्चों को भी ये वैक्सीन लगाई जाएगी और ये देखा गया है कि इन बच्चों में ये वैक्सीन बहुत उनको हिफाजत मुहैया करती है और वो सारे वो सारे के सारे फायदे जो कि किसी भी बड़े लोगों को यानी कि 18 साल से ज्यादा के अफराद में हासिल हो रहे थे वो 12 से 18 साल के बच्चों को भी ये वैक्सीन लगने के बाद वो सारे फवायद मिल रहे हैं अभी तक कुछ कंट्रीज में जिसमें कि इसराइल अमेरिका वगैरह शामिल है उनमें छोटे बच्चों बहुत ही छोटे उम्र के बच्चों में भी तहकीक शुरू हो चुकी है लेकिन अभी हमारे पास बहुत ऐसे रिजल्ट नहीं हैं जिसकी वजह से हम छोटे बच्चों में जिनकी उम्र 12 साल से कम है उनमें भी ये वैक्सीन अप्रूव कर दें लेकिन ये देखा गया है कि मुस्तबिल में जैसे ही हमें ज्यादा ज्यादा रिजल्ट मिलेंगे और हमें ये शोर होगा कि ये वैक्सीन छोटी उम्र के बच्चों के लिए यानी कि वो लोग जो कि 12 साल से कम उम्र हैं या 2009 के बाद पैदा हुए हैं जैसे ही तहकीक सामने आएगी गवर्नमेंट कनाडा यकीनी तौर पर उन बच्चों के लिए भी ये वैक्सीन अप्रूव कर देगी लेकिन आज की तारीख तक ये वैक्सीन स्पेशली बारह से अठारह साल तक के बच्चों में सिर्फ और सिर्फ एम आर एन ए जिसमें के फाइजर वैक्सीन शामिल है ये अभी अप्रूव की गई है और अभी कनाडा में 12 साल से कम उम्र के बच्चों को वैक्सीन नहीं दी जा रही है नाउ आई विल टॉक इन पंजाबी ये सवाल पूछा जाता है कि जी वैक्सीन है ये छोटी उम्र के बच्चों को भी दी जा सकती है कि नहीं तो इस वे जी भी तहकीक आई है और वो तो साबित होया है कि बारह तो अठारह साल की उम्र के जोड़े छोटे बच्चे है ने उन्होंने यह वैक्सीन दी जा सकती है हुकूमत कैनेडा ने इस उम्र के बच्चों एम आर एन ए वैक्सीन जी है स्पेशली जी फाइजर है ये अप्रूव की है तो एम आर एन ए वैक्सीन इस वे कैनेडा में बारह तो अठारह साल के लोगों भी दी जा रही है यानी कि अगर ताे बच्चे या ताकि उम्र बारह साल या उतो ज्यादा है ये या दो हज़ार नौ या उतो पहल पैदा हुए हो तो ये वैक्सीन लै सकते हो मुख्तलिफ मुल्क जिन अमेरिका तो इसराइल शामिल है छोटे बड़े छोटे उम्र के बच्चों के उत्ते भी तहकीक की जा रही है तो उन्होंने यह वैक्सीन दी जा रही है लेकिन हले तक साढ़े को नतीजे मौजूद नहीं है ने तो इसलिए इस इस वे तक यह फा फैसला किया गया है कि असी इस वे सिर्फ बारह साल तो उतो ज्यादा उम्र के बच्चों ही वैक्सीन देवे उतो घट उम्र के बच्चों हले तक वैक्सीन नहीं दी जा रही है बट मुस्तबिल जिमें जिमें साढ़े को नतज आते जावेंगे तो असं देखा कि यह बड़ा फायदेमंद है छोटे बच्चों 
ਤੇ ਹਕੂਮਤ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਬਾਤ ਦਾ ਜਵਾਬ ਦੇਗੀ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਵੀ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਜਾਏਗੀ ਕਿ ਛੋਟੇ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਵੈਕਸੀਨ ਲੱਗ ਸਕਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਨਹੀਂ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਇਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਤੱਕ 12 ਸਾਲ ਤੋਂ ਉੱਤੇ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਵੀ ਲੋਕ ਨੇ 12 ਸਾਲ ਜਾਂ ਉੱਤੋਂ ਉੱਤੇ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਵੀ ਬੱਚੇ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਵੈ